At the age of two and a half, Don Bradman moved to the town of Bowral, New South Wales with his family. From their farm in the rural locality of Yo-Yo, near Stock and Bingle, in 1911. The Bradmans moved into this weatherboard cottage on the corner of Shepherd and Holly Streets on the eastern side of the town. It was in the backyard of this property that a young Don Bradman started developing his hand-eye coordination by hitting a golf ball with a cricket stump up against a brick tank stand. From the age of five, Bradman attended Bowral Public School where his academic and sporting prowess began to be recognised. His cricketing skills became undeniable when he scored 115 not out and took eight wickets against Mittagong Public School. Across the road from the Bowral Public School is the St Jude's Anglican Church where the Bradman family were members of the congregation and the young Don attended Sunday school and sang in the choir. His granddaughter Greta Bradman, an operatic soprano, has performed a number of times at the St Jude's Church. An old concrete pitch located on a spare barrel block could have been the site of Don Bradman's first games of junior cricket. Laid in 1892 by the Bowral Cricket Association, the pitch was under threat of being demolished following plans for a retirement village to be built on the site. But in late 2020, the development application was quashed by the New South Wales Land and Environment Court. Bradman started his long association with a stretch of grass called Glebe Park, later to be named in his honour as Bradman Oval. With his reputation growing as a junior cricketer, Bradman played his first senior match at the age of 12 when the Bowral cricket team was short a man. Having scored 37 not out the previous week against Mossvale at home, he proved it wasn't a fluke when scoring 29 not out the following Saturday on Glebe Park. Despite being described by his headmaster as an unusually bright lad, Bradman left school at the age of 14, like many young people at the time, to start work. It was at 276 Bong Bong Street, the main street of Bowral, where the teenage Don worked for Westbrook's real estate agents. Across the road from Glebe Park Oval, Bradman's father, George, had built a home for his family at 20 Glebe Street. Don was 16 when the family moved into the red brick cottage and lived there until he moved to Sydney to pursue his cricketing career. The Bradman Foundation now owns the house and the previous curators of the Bradman Museum have lived there. Shortly before his record-breaking 1930 Ashes Tour of England, Bradman was farewelled at a civic reception held at Bowral's Empire Cinema in Bong Bong Street. Upon his triumphal return, the local hero was welcomed at a homecoming ceremony by the proud townsfolk at Corbett Gardens. Bradman addressed the crowd from the park's bandstand. Despite Barrel's favourite son permanently relocating to Adelaide, the town never forgot him, renaming Glebe Park the Bradman Oval in 1947. In the 1980s, a revival of Bradmania led to the proposal for a Bradman museum to be built on the site in honour of the town's most famous resident. Stage one, a pavilion, was opened on the 14th of October 1989 with Sir Donald and Lady Jessie in attendance. 
A second stage was completed in 1996, with a final stage, the International Cricket Hall of Fame, opening in 2010. The precinct is also the final resting place of Sir Donald and Lady Jessie Bradman, with the couple's ashes scattered over the oval, and in a memorial garden adjacent to the museum and pavilion.